So check it out. At the first of the year, I challenged everyone out there to decide what we're going to build next. I gave you three choices. You decided the MF-79 is what we're building. As you can tell, it's been torn down. It's been put back together. We've already fired up a Gen 3 Coyote motor that you guys said that you wanted, put a six speed behind it, and now it is getting the rest of the work done. And when it's done, it is going to be badass. And you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to the end of this because that's when I'm gonna tell you when you can see it. This video is sponsored by Simply Safe. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Today we are keeping things under lock and key thanks to Simply Safe. You see, keeping the car safe from these, well, sneaky little monkeys isn't just about locks and alarms, it's serious business. Now, let me tell you a quick little story. A while back, we had a sneaky little incident where a certain someone thought they could take my 68 Mustang for a joyride. And that's the day I realized that I needed real security. Enter Simply Safe. It's like having your own pit crew for security. We're talking top notch sensors and cameras, monitoring for break ins, fires, you name it. And with their 24 7 professional monitoring, there's always somebody ready to respond faster than you can say monkey wrench. Installation was a piece of cake, it was up and running in no time, no sweat. But if you're not the do it yourself type, Simply Safe's got a team of pros that can get out there and get you set up. Look at split. Plus the smart alarm camera isn't just smart, it's genius. With live guard protection, these guys can see and chat with any uninvited guests in real time, putting a stop to the trouble before it starts. It's like having eyes in the back of your head. The show's over, get back to work. Just like that. Now, Simply Safe isn't just robust, it's also a steal. For less than a buck a day, you get all the peace of nine, no long contracts, and no hidden fees. Since you're part of the Gas Monkey family, I got a deal for you. Head over to simplysafe.com forward slash Gas Monkey Garage, get 20% off this system itself. Plus you get your first month free on Fast Protect Monitor. With Simply Safe, you're not just protecting your stuff, you're making sure your kingdom is secure. Whether you're home or tearing up the asphalt, don't wait to keep your world safe. There's no safe like Simply Safe. All right, so we got the cab on, firewall's painted, and now we're starting to build out the pedal assembly, line the floor with our sound skins. Ricky's running the rest of the e-brake lines, running wiring. This is when the build actually starts kind of visually picking up progress. It's more of the exciting part to me because you actually see the truck come together. So, man, I'd have to say, we've probably only got about five or six days left in this thing and when we're done, so I'm ready to see it bulling tires. So we got most of our sound skin in that's going in the cab. Right now I'm making the seat bracket so we can have a seat to be able to actually sit behind the wheel and drive it. But after that, once I get this done, I'm gonna move on to wiring the cab up and actually getting wires to the back and to the front to the location so we can have lights. Kenny got the seat brackets made and got the pedals in there. So we really need to throw our TMI seats inside the cab and just feel out, you know, where they're gonna land. And dude, these TMI Cruiser Series low backs, dude, are exactly what we're looking for. Richard really wanted a low back seat. He doesn't, he's always picky about, you know, the seat sticking up in there. We wanted a really modern feel in this cab, so we got some high bolstering on the sides. And man, I can tell you right now, these are nice quality seats. Stitching looks good, everything. So let's throw them in there and see how they actually feel. All right, so Kenny's finishing up the wiring inside the cab. Um, he's getting real close, so it's time to start really, you know, focusing on getting the interior in. One thing we want to do is start getting class in the doors too. I know that a couple y'all asked what we were going to do around the seals and everything like that. There's no real way to fix any of that without ruining the patina of the truck. And this truck didn't leak, so it sat outside on the POS line this whole time. No leaks, no water in the cab, so. 
It still seals up, it's just a little ugly. We got all brand new seals and glass from AMD. So what we're gonna do is just get it on there, make sure it seals up really, really tight. Josh, you're doing pretty good, man. Yeah. I think we all know now when it comes to shoving something really small into a big piece of rubber, you're really good at it. Why are you and Richard always talking about stuff like that? I'm just saying this tiny little glass. I mean, you're getting it in the rubber really good and you know, working your way all around. You're doing a great job. I'm just trying to give you a little, a little support today. We're gonna try this. Mike says that this works. I ain't never done nothing but rope, but Mike said he's done it with wire before. I don't know why in the freaking world I'm trusting anything out of Mike Coy's mouth. There's a hardware store just down the road, Josh. Ricky, we don't have time. We have a deadline. Boom, boom, boom. You can add music right there and make it feel like it was back in the TV show shit. We're out of time. How's Richard's guys ever going to make the deadlines? Today, they hit a breaking point. No, don't say that. No. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> So we went with the digital gauges in here. It's actually a big digital screen kind of like this, but we divided it up and built it to where it actually goes in the stock bezels. Looks real cool. When it came down to radio, gotta have a radio in the truck. We wanted a screen. I don't think that a nice, you know, like a, one of the factory looks, it just really wouldn't flow. So been trying to contemplate on how to get this in there and look right. And I think we figured it out. After I've chopped a hole in here, there was no really going back. So, what we're figuring out, and this is just rough draft, what we're gonna do is somewhat there, okay? About the same angle as these, a little bit more forward. We'll flush this out, make it look like a nice factory piece, and you'll have your good digital display here with all your gauges. Nice digital display here, you got your maps and everything like that. I know it's a Thrasher truck, but we also kinda wanna build this to go maybe take it you know on like the power tour or something like that so man modern amenities are nice i know we're supposed to be like old school hot rods i like gps so we're putting a screen in this bad boy Josh, it looks weird. Don't stare me in the eyes while I'm doing this, Richard. <laughs> 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 Tell me where we're at and what's happening. Um, on the assembly now. All like your main structure and stuff like that is already built, plumbed, ran. Kenny's sorting out the wires just to make them look better. I'm working on, this is your radio bezel. So it kind of mimics the way the gauges go in to I our screen. It. So smoothing all that out, getting ready for Mike to paint. I got some dark black and gray uh, wood coming like you're talking about. I don't know if it's worth the hassle. It might look good, just black. Just paint it. Just paint it. I mean, you gotta paint it anyways. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to work it and paint it and wherever you messed up the corners here. I mean, they look good. Um, anyways, I've got another project. What does that mean? It means I gotta take you out of here for a couple of days. Can the team handle it while we're gone? What are we talking about Why here? Why don't you just throw your hand on your hip like that? <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be done uh, on Friday, and now I need uh, Josh the Commander to go with me on a little side project up in uh, Sturgis, South Dakota. I mean, the, hmm. the guys got this. That day. sounds detrimental to Friday. You're supposed to just say, hell yeah, we got this shit. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Hell yeah, we got this shit. Well, I'd rather say, I don't know if we can do it, and then get it done. You know, it doesn't matter if the glass is half empty or half full. There's still room for more. All right, that's the way you got to look at it. All right. What if well, the, what if the glass is half out? Yeah, how do you get the glass half out? Why are you even taking it apart? It's green. It's green. green. Wait, why are we going to start this? Does it really matter? We have to look at something that we're thinking about buying. That's why I need you there and Margaret and Daphne and the millennials with the cameras and probably a couple of my friends. Don't worry about what we're doing up this. It's going to be a shit show.
Kenny has been working on the AC plumbing. Mm. And I put some door glass in, the little wing glass and the big glass that goes up and down. Uh, what else? Anything else, Kenny? Today? No, that's about it. I got most of the wiring done, or actually majority of almost all the wiring done underneath the dash. Ran all the wires to the lights on the back. So we don't really need to have the bed off anymore. We're gonna go ahead and get this bed on just to kind of make it look like we're doing a lot of work, which we really are, but you know, it'll look better to go ahead and get the bed on. We got a half a truck now. Do we want to throw the wheels on that we have here real quick just to see what it would look like with it on the ground? I'm down for it because it's definitely going to be cooler to end the day with the truck setting on rubber looking like a truck than on jack stands. So we're going to use these wheels that we have laying around. They're not really the right offset or the right size that we're going to be using. Uh, we're still waiting on our wheels to get done. Normally we wouldn't run these adapters on anything but since these wheels are a different offset the inside actually rubs on the caliper we're putting this little spacing so we can just not mess up these beautiful wheel to calipers like that. I'm so happy with our stance. That ride tag front and rear clip was the way to go. Coil overs are going to make it super adjustable and perform incredibly well. Big stabilizer bar too so if we do get to put it on a track it's going to be fun. We got a glass guy coming in today to put the front windshield in. We got Sean with NTX Audio coming out to start putting the audio in the truck. So hopefully, we'll still have a pretty good day and get a lot done. What the fuck are you doing with your hands? You know what, I'm not sure what to do with my hands. <laughs> So we're bringing carpet in. It's one of the main thing inside the cab that makes it look a lot more complete. So once we get that in, just a few things left to actually complete the interior and then it'll all be done. What we're doing right now is me and Ricky are kind of looking at a way. The ECM on this is quite bulky and the harness is short, so Kenny had to mount it here. So we're trying to figure out a way to cover this up. We're liking the way this is looking, but we have a giant open spot over there. So now the goal is kind of refine this and build another one on that side. Thinking we can just run the intake over there and make an air box with it. I mean, I think it'll look good. It'll give it uni uniformity, uniformity? It'll make it uniform. Yeah, uniformity. Right, no. Oh, Ricky added another it. syllable. Thought I could do it, but <laughs> uniform, I, yeah, I can't. So, they, anyways, we can make them look the same on both sides. And uh, do some cool something up here. I don't know, I'm sure Richard will come up with something. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish this out and hop on an air box.
All right, so the air box is a pretty simple design. Um, all we're gonna do is just kind of mimic this on the other side, put a cap on it. But we are gonna take it, go over to the box brake, stand it up, throw in the engine bay right there where that other compartment is. But we still want it to follow the line of the fender well. So get it boxed up, go over there, trace it, cut it, repeat, whatever, you know, fab stuff. started trying to lay out the intake and how I covered up the ECM I kind of want to mock on this side so we do something cool you know mimic each other well I ran into a problem Kenny ran his main power wire right across the fender well so I had to go in notch and smooth to where it sets around there but we're good there now so I need to get my uh, whatever kind of piping I'm going to use bring it out turn it bring it inside of this box get a filter that fits I already made the cap and uh, send this thing over to Mike for paint What's up, guys? Uh, it's day 35. You know when I come back here, it's usually day one, maybe around day 15, and then when it's due, which is today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're waiting it's, on a radiator fan. Yeah, we're radiator fan. The, your card declined, so we couldn't. <laughs> oh, my card never declines. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. But uh, anyways, uh, what's the scoop? Where are we at? What do we got left? Uh, Wind on wheels, JTX. Chris is, you know, going to keep us on the edges always. Uh, sub box, a few things in the interior, and like they said, radiator fan, throw the front end on. I mean, if everything was here, a day's worth of work. All right, I, I can live with that. Uh, I heard the motor run already and everything like mm -hmm. that, so we got to put in exhaust. Exhaust. Yes. Where are we running that? Are we running it all the way to the back, to the side, to the front, out the hood? Well, we wanted to run it out of the side of the bed, in between the trim, but it's just not enough room. I think we all personally like a side blower you know kind of nascar look it kind of fits the truck but i mean it really just comes on where do you want it to come out i was thinking 70 side pipes but it doesn't mm -hmm. go with this build so we're not going to use that um uh, what about in the back uh after the wheel well popping out the sides yeah we well, you still that. got double trim so i don't know let's take a look yeah see it doesn't work there either no mm -hmm. there's not enough room too much trim time. yeah and we can't go there I don't like it when you even stop it, you know, just under because it reverberates through oh, yeah. the wheel well and everything, and it's just too daggum loud. Um, oh, you don't want to do yours and Shawnee B's baloney cuts again? Hey, I love baloney cuts, man. Don't jack with me. I mean, we can come out in the back. We're running a stock bumper, right? Correct. We're not going to the ground with the bumper, so you don't want to come through the bumper real clean. That would not make any sense. Um, up pipes like uh, on the little red express <laughs> i literally snacks. don't know i know that's i literally why we, don't know that's why we've kind of sat here and waited get with jtx make sure he's got our wheels coming mm -hmm. uh i know tires are almost here i mm -hmm. think we've got two of them and yes. uh we need two more mm -hmm. and we had a deadline we're obviously not going to make it exactly that so we're going to call it you know a couple more days but that is in a weekend mm -hmm. well happens to be that it's fantasy truckers weekend at texas motor speedway it'd be real cool to unveil this there maybe put it in the burnout pit yeah we've hidden a few things along in there to make it do some burnouts and I, it'll definitely be ready for that 100 well, percent. that's that's the deal if you miss a deadline you get a little bit of a punishment because now it has to be ready because i've committed it to be uncovered at fantasy truckers and it has to be there or we all look bad so you're getting your couple or so extra days. I'd get after it if I was y'all. Fantasy truckers, here we come. Rima! So there you go. My guy's got really, really close to 35 days. And going over a couple doesn't really hurt my feelings, especially since that gives us a little bit of extra chance to do the finite touches that I want to do because we're taking it to Fantasy Truckers, which is going to be 
badass. I've never gone. I've heard a lot about the event and it's supposed to be a riot. So I'm pretty stoked to be doing that. And uh, we're going to take the truck there. We're going to unveil it. But if you're watching and liking and subscribing to this channel, you're going to get to see it on May 25th. That morning we'll be releasing the video. If you're around here, get to Bantasy Truckers. You're going to see us unveil it live there. And uh, we're going to have a damn good time. If you're watching me for the first time or Gas Monkey, make sure you like and subscribe and go to GasMonkeyGarage.com because there's some cool shit on there.